All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenja. Thanks for checking out my channel. I usually talk about one of my sponsors at the end, but I'm gonna throw them in first. Boom, Strong Arm Sports. This is my second video here. This is a little spot I come to in LA Fitness that I like to do my videos. It's quiet. It's okay with the lighting, except this damn light right here. It's always, but what am I gonna do? What I wanna get into today is something I've been actually addressing a lot on my podcast. Uh, and on that podcast, I've been trying to help people live a certain lifestyle affordably, and I've been getting a lot of good responses on this. I think a lot of people think they have to be a multimillionaire, or they have to have sports cars, they have to live in a gated community, and uh, be able to travel all over the world to live a great life. You really don't. I mean, of course, if that's what you wanna do, wonderful, go for it, but don't think that you're a piece of shit because you can't do certain things right now in your life financially. I'm just telling you right now, but I'm going to address that with fitness a little bit today because I'm running into a lot of people, especially during COVID, that are either one, afraid to work out, which I understand. They're afraid to go to a gym. They're afraid to get around people. I get it. But they don't have a lot of money now to kind of keep up with maybe what they were previously doing. Uh, they may have had to either freeze their gym account or they may have had to quit all in general. You know, they had to quit in general, which is brutal. And I understand that. Um, I think about that all the time with a lot of people out there that really were, you know, trying to stay in shape uh, or trying to live a healthier lifestyle. And all of a sudden this kind of got everybody turned upside down in their head financially, right? But here's the thing, I'm gonna just give you some quick hints. If you do want to kind of stay healthy, and I know if, if you're talking weights now, I, what I would recommend if you can't afford to go to a gym, I know this sounds weird, is one is find a friend, family member or colleague that possibly has weights in their house in a garage. Uh, you'd be shocked a lot of people do. And here's the other thing. A lot of people, if you start asking around, have equipment that they don't even use. So you may want to ask them if you could even borrow it. You may want to even, maybe if it's affordable, you can even buy it. But it's something is better than nothing, right? And I'm telling you, there's so many people out there I know that have dead equipment. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing is if you could pull it off. I don't know. I live in Orlando, so I'm always around a lot of different hotels. And some of these hotels or even apart apartment complexes, townhomes, they have workout fit, fitness, you know, centers. Some are open, some are closed. But again, if you have friends, family members or colleagues, a lot of them may live in these type of complexes. Ask them if you can go work out there. As long as you're not an asshole and they're there either with somebody who lives there or has access, usually they're pretty cool. So you won't have to pay to work out to go to these places. Also, a lot of times that I, at least in Florida and California, and I know those are extreme, but they have different parks, uh, lakes, where you can go there and do different types of workouts for free. I know this sounds crazy, but they have chin-up things, they have you do a push-up. You go through a whole different routine, lunges. This may be something different to try. So if you Google you know, different things to do regarding fitness, that's free and affordable, you'd be shocked what pops up. And I get it, like maybe when you were making money, you loved going to your yoga boutique or your wherever you did yoga or Pilates boutique um, and you can't afford to go there and it's kind of heartbreaking. But again, there are ways to do yoga, for instance. I know they do them in the park a lot of times uh, and sometimes even if you look, I'm not sure if like Lululemon or certain places they offer it for free sometimes uh, just pay attention to those things you just may have to do a little more homework and you're still going to be able to do maybe the things you were doing before just a lot less money right now I mean that's just the reality of it, but pay attention to that as well all right here's something else to really consider if you want to work out at a gym back to that is maybe asking a friend family member colleague if you can attach yourself to their membership a lot of times they will offer you know people just for attaching themselves to certain memberships for a lot less cost okay so think about that and i was thinking about this as well sometimes if you go to a gym or you know a workout facility of some sort if you just work out at that facility so say LA Fitness, hypothetically, because that's where I'm at. A lot of times, if you just work out at that specific gym, they'll give you a cheaper rate than saying working out in the entire state or in the entire country. If you really do want to work out in a gym or any fitness center, I believe, and I've done videos on this, even with LA Fitness, and what I think you really got to do is take an honest, genuine approach. Nobody wants to turn people down for the most part that want to be healthy. I don't believe it. Now, if this is a private club type thing where the memberships are thousands of dollars or hundred dollars a month, they're probably gonna be exclusive. But a lot of LA Fitness, 24-hour fitness, um, Lifetime Fitness is kind of exclusive, Planet Fitness. You can go in there 
and say, listen, I make X amount of dollars, right? I'm only able to afford this amount of money to work out. A lot of times they will work with you, even if it's for a short amount of time. And also if they know you genuinely love that place, you may not have a lot of money. You also may have other friends. You come in as a group and say, listen, there's four of us. We can't afford $30 a month, but we can afford 20. We can't afford to put anything down right now. Or maybe can we work out a payment plan? Most gyms for the most part will work with you, especially I think too, I haven't been a member for years, but YMCA's still, I think people don't think about them. A lot of YMCA's are very, you know, upgraded right now. At least the ones that I kind of visit when I travel sometimes. I'm not a member, but my daughters are members. They're not bad. They have a lot of things in there and usually they're very reasonable. As long as they're kind of local within where you live, they will definitely work with you. So I just want to give some quick tips on how to kind of save some money and you know keep working out or trying to stay fit. And I know times are hard. So I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you get a chance, subscribe. I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So if you get